Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video of Fortnite Pro Player Update, we're going to be checking out Bugger's new mouse pad, Face Sway's new Fortnite settings, and Eric Triceps' new Fortnite settings. As well as that, guys, I'll also be showing you all two fixes in this video. That's a fix for the ADS zoom bug and a fix for that annoying red cross there too. We've got quite a bit to get through today, guys. But before we do start, I just want to quickly say that if you are enjoying these update videos, then be sure to leave a like on them, guys, as each and every like really does help me out and is very much appreciated. Appreciated. Also, if you do happen to be new to my channel, please consider subscribing as well so that you don't miss out on any updates in the future. Now let's start the video off with me showing you guys how to fix the ADS zoom bug and the red crosshair. So starting off with the ADS zoom issue, the issue with this is now when you aim down the site, you'll be zoomed in a lot more than you were before the new controller settings update. The reason for this is because Epic Games introduced that new controller settings update and in this update they actually changed how the ADS and aim assist work works on controller and for some reason these settings actually affect mouse and keyboard players too by making them have that same extra zoom that the controller players have. There may be some of you watching that actually prefer this new ADS zoom but I know there'll also be a few of you that don't as it'll be affecting your muscle memory, at least that was the case for me. But not to worry guys, there is a fix for this issue. To remove this ADS zoom issue, all you need to do is just head into your Fortnite settings. In here you want to head to that new controller settings tab and click on the advanced options. You then want to turn on the legacy settings option and you'll no longer have that extra zoom guys It'll be back to normal like it was before this update the other issue was the red crosshair, which I've seen a lot of comments of you guys wondering if it was possible to remove this, as a lot of you found it really annoying, and I do agree with you on that one. And yes guys, it is possible to be removed, and I'll show you how to right now. To remove the red crosshair guys, all you have to do again is turn on that legacy settings option. By having the legacy look controls option turned on guys, it's pretty much a fix for both of these issues. You guys will now have the regular ADS zoom as well as the normal crosshair. It's as easy as that. Now that we've fixed both of those issues, we'll now move on to our pro player updates for the day. Starting off with Eric Triceps' new Fortnite settings. So for Eric's new settings, he's actually changed a fair bit recently. Instead of going over what he's changed and what he hasn't guys, I'll literally just list all of his settings out for you. For Eric's video settings, he has his view distance on Epic and the rest of his settings are on Low. And for Eric's resolution, he's currently playing on 1798 by 1080. For his brightness, Eric's got that set on the max, which is 1.0. For his audio settings, Eric's got his music on 0, his sound effects on 0.50, his voice chat on 0.75, and his cinematics is on 0.25. For Eric's colorblind setting, he's currently got that set on Deuteronope 7. And for Eric's game settings, he's actually just changed this today, by the way. He now plays on X and Y, both on 0.130, and his targeting sense and scopes sense are both now on 0.400 and that's on 400 mouse dpi as well also these are the rest of eric's updated game settings on screen right now And guys, while we're checking out Eric's updated Fortnite settings, I might as well show you guys all of his updated keybinds as well for Season 10. So here are those on screen right now. Moving on, we'll now check out Faze Sway's new Fortnite settings. Starting off with Sway's video settings, he has his view distance on Epic and the rest of his settings are on Low. For his brightness, Sway's got that set on 0.70. For his audio settings, Sway's got his music on 0, his sound effects on 1.0, his voice chat is on 0, and his cinematics volume is on 1.0. For Sway's colorblind settings, he currently has this setting turned off. And for Sway's game settings, he's actually now playing on the new format controller settings, meaning he no longer plays on the old legacy settings. These are all of Sway's settings in the new controller settings format. He's got his build and edit mode multiplier both on 1.3, his look horizontal and vertical speeds are both on 85% and his ADS look speeds are both on 14%. These are the rest of Sway's in-game settings on screen right now. Also guys, here are all of Sway's updated controller binds and new dead zone settings.
And that's all of Sway's new settings, controller binds and dead zone settings. We'll now move on to our final update of today, Bugger's new mousepad. So for Bugger's new mousepad guys, he's actually not using the glorious triple XL mousepad that I thought he previously was using. It turns out that I was completely wrong on this guys, so apologies on that. He's actually now using the SteelSeries QCK double XL mousepad. But yeah guys, that's Bugger's new mousepad and that's actually all the updates I've got for today. Remember to drop a like on the video guys if you did enjoy and be sure to use code life in the Fortnite item shop if you would like to support me. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.